Hi. I'm going to talk about pink salt. I do have a disclaimer. Nothing I say can or will be used against me in a court of law. Okay? You're responsible for your own research and your own decisions. Um, and maybe what I'm saying is not true. It's just I'm just regurgitating information and sharing my experiences with you. But I'm going to talk about pink Himalayan salt, sea salt, rock salt. So supposedly, supposedly all salt is sodium and chloride to a certain percentage, and they have macro minerals and trace minerals also. Well, man-made salt has taken out macro minerals and trace minerals and it's more the percentage of sodium and chloride is higher and so our bodies are not don't recognize the sodium and chloride and a large percentage of water leaves our cells to go try and break down this concoction man-made concoction and it wreaks havoc, havoc on our it wreaks havoc on our bodies so what I want to say about pink salt is that um it's full of the trace minerals and macro minerals and our electrolytes and things like that. So supposedly, supposedly 94 elements on the periodic table are not gas and 84 of those elements are in pink salt. So I'm going to tell you the different things you can do with pink salt. So it's known for detoxing. So example, um, I like to go to the spa and sweat with it. So the room is over 120 degrees. So let's say I may have been in that room. 150 degrees for 20 minutes became my favorite room. 10 to 20 minutes is recommended to get the full benefit. But staying in the room for like 40 minutes and basically it helps with the detoxing and circulation, etc, etc, etc. That's one way. Um, another thing is about water, something that we don't know. You know, we're you know all health conscious and drinking all this water, 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 drink half your weight in ounces in water, etc, etc, etc. So the thing about that is we're diluting our bodies. We're not water. You know, whatever our percentage is, 70%, 80% water, it's not water. It's not water. It's more like ocean. So when we are diluting ourselves, we're causing problems on our body. So our body starts to, re starts to release histamine, which... That makes me think in terms of antihistamine because I get allergies. I'm out here in LA. I get allergies, and all the allergy medications on the shelf say antihistamine. You know, so if the body's releasing histamine, and sea salt is what counteracts that, hmm, maybe sea salt is an antihistamine. We'll get to that later. But bottom line is, every 32 ounces of water, which is every four cups, you're supposed to have a pinch of sea salt, not table salt, but sea salt, and preferably the pink salt because you're putting your body back in balance. Otherwise, like I said, your body will start to re release histamine, which is going to be your running eyes, your running nose, your itchy ears, your scratchy throat, your sneezing, yada, 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 yada. It could just be that you just watered down your, your system with water. Um, the other thing is internal bathing. So, like I said, I'm going to reference things because I'm just a person. I'm not promoting anything, but there's something called the Master Cleanse or the Lemonade Diet. I did it a couple times. 20 years ago, something like that. And so they have something called internal bathing or salt water bathing or salt water flush it's under those types of names. And what you do is, I'm not giving you the recipes or anything because I want you to do your research. If you have questions, you can ask me because I don't even know if you're interested. But what you do is you use a couple of teaspoons of the sea salt in warm water and like a couple of quarts of warm water. And what happens is that the salt doesn't go in your blood, the water doesn't go through your urinary tract, it stays binding together and it cleanses you from the ruta to the puta. So you do it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, you drink it um, down, <clears throat> don't drink it down in intervals or that's the way it's gonna come out, just to keep it real. So you wanna like drink it all down and then within an hour, for sure like an hour and a half, your whole system is flushed. And you can do that as often as you want for um, internal bathing and that's instead of like colon cleansing so why do I want to put something in my body that way when I could just drink it and flush it out so that's another thing that it's good for um, I talked about the sweating oh the last thing I want to say about pink salt well first of all I use it on my food 
and it has a whole different type of flavor than salt. It's full of salt because the minerals, the colors is there because of the minerals. But the last thing I want to tell you about is something called Soleil. So if salt, whatever salt is, but just imagine sun and ocean and just a combination of all these great things packed up in this salt. Well, how do you, how do you extract that? The way to extract that is um, in water. So an example is, and this is to bring the balance back into our body. So example is um, if you have a container, it could be a pitcher, a glass jar, something like that. But if you put it a fourth of the way with pink salt and the rest of the way with water and you leave it overnight, the next morning you're going to have pink water. And what happens is that the water has rooms in it. The molecules can suck up the, the molecules can suck up the salt, basically. And um, it can suck up everything that's in there into the water. And so now your water is something called soleil, which simply means liquid sunshine. And if there are, is no salt in your container, then you need to do it again because that means there's more room in your water. I guess I'm having a problem with my connection. So you add more salt, let it sit, da 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 da. da. So the bottom line is when you first when you first use your solution, you want there to be some salt at the bottom because it means your water is full. And um, the way you use that is like in the morning on an empty stomach, and you wait at least 15 minutes before you even eat a meal after this. But in the morning, you take, um, I think it's a tablespoon, a tablespoon of your concoction, your soleil that you made, and put it in a cup of water and you drink that. And that keeps your cells fully charged for 24 hours. Um, I did a video, a video earlier, I don't know how long it's been, an hour or something, about the earth being magical and um, miraculous. And that is going to talk to you about the Earth being electromagnetic. But the bottom line is that this is our, you know, we have protons and electrons in our cells. And everything that we need, you know, not everything we need, but a lot of stuff we need is in the soleil. So instead of this table salt, quit the table salt, even sea salt, take a, a, a notch to pink salt. That's my suggestions. And if you have any questions, you know, comment, let me know. Okay.